Hey people, hope you guys are staying safe and well. Okay, today's video is about uh, repairing a power supply for this Yamaha or REV7, basically. That's the one what we're fixing. The power supply is a common problem um, and some of the capacities are blowing. Let me see if there is anything else. Yeah, the model RV, RE, REV7, basically. That's that. This is proper Japanese engineering. Yeah, it says made in Japan absolutely love it right so i've already taken the uh, oops i've already taken the power supply board out and as you can see that's bloated this is a 63 micro is it 63 let me see 63 let me see what they uh, I believe it is uh, no 68 microfarad 400 volt basically so that is all bloated it's leaking whatever it is so also what i've done is that because of the age of the board um these capacitors although that they're not bloated the esr uh, equivalent series resistance within the capacitor may be bad so um i thought that i'm gonna just gonna order the lot and and get them replaced basically uh, and uh, i think uh i did miss out this basically this little tidgy one that i didn't come across but i've already got the these are all panasonic capacitors apart from this one I could Panasonic have stopped manufacturing. This is the one that's the 68 uh, microfarad 400 volt, um, and the rest, uh, I've got 220 microfarad 10 volt, and then I've got two times 470 microfarad um, 25 volt, and these are five five uh, mil pitch. So is the other one the 200 2200 microfarad 10 volt okay uh the first one i should have i'm going backwards now sorry uh the this one's got 10 mil pitch basically so then i have uh back to the root now uh 1000 microfarad 10 volt and then i have two times and again i'm gonna go pitch is five mil this is the 330 microfarad, 25 volt, two times that. And again, the pitch is five mil, basically. And these have been ordered from Farnell UK. Low melt solder goes on. Um, so I'll make sure that's a... All right. Um, and I think this will come with ease. I think this is already lead, lead, uh, leaded solder. That's why it's, it's just coming off with ease, basically. <laughs> right okay just make sure that I don't forget the orientation there is a dot there that's absolutely fine so I'm gonna get rid of the old solder um, so let's let's suck up all the old solder which I don't need to well it's nice to sort of do a neat job basically all right see how quickly that comes this is what you call Japanese engineering things right so that's the original capacitor you can see that I don't need to run any SR test trust me that's that's a scrap that okay military equipment are still using uh, lead uh, leaded solder basically as you may may be aware of this aircraft and military space spacecraft whatever that they, they use leaded Three seconds, I'll hold it there for three seconds. No, oh, less than three seconds actually, because this Metcal is a, a, a effing beast. I'm telling you that now, absolutely beast. Right, so that's gone on beautifully. Let's move.
Now the question comes on to testing these caps and see how the ones that I've taken off. At. Obviously, this doesn't take rocket science to figure out how bad this is by looking at it. But so uh, let's see how. Are you able to see that? Let's just. Yeah, you can just about make. Let me see if I can get any closer. All right. Okay, so let's start testing these caps. Just before I do that, let me try and make make sure that sure it's short. There's no power, so okay. Be careful with these larger caps that are on the AC side of it. Absolutely, you'll, you'll throw you across the room, basically. <coughs> yeah, so it's reading 67.14 microfarad. Um, ESR is 1.98. Now, when it beeps once, you know. Uh, sometimes it's a ding type of a thing. You know that this this is this is messed up, basically. So that's totally. Oh, there is a data sheet for this, basically, in terms of what the recommended ESR is. But I'm, I'm using the unit for so long, I know. And looking at a capacitor as well, so you can you can forget about me referring to the data sheet, basically. But if you need to, you can you can do. This is a 330 microfarad, 25 volt. Let's check this. OK, so that's still all right. Not bad. Now remember, um, some might be good, but some have started leaking. Basically, like for example, this one. So this this should be this should be 100% a duff capacitor, basically. So let's. Uh... Huh, it is. It's not even. It's not even recognizing it, basically. So let's try the different terminal. It doesn't even see it. Connections have been made off. Doesn't even see it. So that can go in the bin. Let's check the other other four. This will read. That's 2,200 2, microfarad, 10 volt. That's within spec. And uh, let's have a look at the other one. This is uh, 1000 microfarad, 10 volt. That's also within spec. Okay, so it's them two. That's also within spec. I believe that is a 330 microfarad, 25 volt cap. That's well within his spec. So that can go on the good side. And that's 475.9 microfarad at 0 0.07 ohms. And that is 470 UF 25 volt capacitor. So that's very precise uh, measurements, basically. Um, so them are OK, but the big book comes is where these rolled capacitors. So since I'm building the circuit, I want to build it right. It's done right. That's the end of it. Then they're not like this costing you silly amount of money. Um, so you might as well just just get rid of all them, basically, which I've done. And this this one was on the same part of the circuit. of These basically um, and this is quite quite bad. There's powders and all sorts of crap coming out of it, pooping out of it, I should say. So, yep, that's where we are with this side of it. Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to dismantle that unit. And uh, let's let's put these caps to a side. Right, OK. So this is what it looks like inside the amp. As you can see, the power, power board is here. Make sure it's that's where the power board goes okay so sadly the orientation isn't that just that great so let me see if I can get this any closer okay that's the closest I can get now I need to remember what I did okay yeah the point needs to be soldered in so I'll have to turn on the uh, soldering station basically right okay first thing first is let's take these screws out 
Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. So, right, okay. Oh, yes, uh, yes, of course I do, of course I do. There's six screws that needs to be taken off. Of course I do. Those are the casing screws. I think they're the same screws. They are, absolutely they are. No, I don't like the screwdriver. Just don't like it. Just grab something else. I prefer this is this is much more lighter and compact and it's noisy. Noisier. Oops. So this magnetic. Right. Just one other thing. I'm going to do a visual inspection just to, just to see how we're getting on with all this. Um, there's a lot of uh, build-ups here. Just don't. I just don't like. There's like a. It looks like it's burnt, but it's not. It's just 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 the flux basically, the staining that's left off left off from the uh, flux residue that was. Thinking so, I might as well just give it a quick clean because it doesn't look nice. That and who knows that this may trigger uh, some form of uh, corrosion over the course of the time. So. Obviously, I can't guarantee that, but well, I can't give you any reassurances that it will happen, but it might happen, so I might as well just give it a small clean to the best of my ability. So at least for personal satisfaction that uh, I know that I've done my absolute best. Um, okay, so it's much clearer and cleaner, I should say. Yeah, that's that's a lot lot better. That was okay. Yep. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the board back in, but I have to solder two terminals. Two terminals. Them them two terminals, live and neutral, were soldered on basically. So I will have to solder them on. So that means that I'll have to take off, uh, uh, turn on my soldering stations basically, which I wasn't planning to, but uh, sadly that's just the way things are basically. So let's connect. Uh, I don't get involved with all these amps and all, <clears throat> all this business because it's sometimes you could be utterly wasting your time basically. Um, so, but this gentleman was nice enough to ask um, and I could not refuse him. I've spoken to him on several instances um, and uh, it, He's an absolute cracking guy. So it makes you happy. When you do something for somebody, it just makes you happy that you're dealing with a, a, a genuine person, you know. no good right so I'm gonna to have to slacken the board right get this screw in because I think the board is not happy the way it's been going in so let's uh, well the screw sorry it's not going in properly on the frame yep it's an easy fix there's my stupidity but Tightening them up initially. No, I know, I know. They just just wasn't expecting the video to be that long. To be dead honest with you, hand on heart, it's just just one of those things. It just happened, doesn't it? You do get carried away with work, um, everything else. So that's cool by me, mate. That's cool by me. I'm gonna apply quite a decent amount of flux. All right. I did mark them, obviously, but they're, they're in colours that they should be, so uh, well, that's not a big concern, that. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a different tip for this, basically. I won't be using this gigantic beast of a tip, but I will be using something a little bit less 
and more compact uh, and more, I should say, more practical. Just give me one sec. Let me sort of. Oh, I've got to... Okay. Okay. I'll power this one. Okay. Let's get you back in. See what I'm doing. type of solder what I'm using is an SN6337 uh, so it stays liquidous for a bit longer than, than other solders basically so that's why the joint just moved like anything um, I'm thinking if I should uh, take it through the uh, internal thingy so I might, I might even consider doing that actually if there is a way of uh, poking this in there Come on. Stop fucking about. See what's happening is that all the solders are dropping down. I don't know what fucking like that. Just check this out. It's dropping into the base, onto the base basically, and I don't, I don't like that. I don't like the idea of that basically. So, Probably have to end up uh, putting a bit of a heat shrink of some sort on it, basically, because these these tips do sort of emit a lot of uh, quite a lot of uh, heat, basically. So, see if I can get this. That's how it should have been, as far as I'm concerned. That. So I'm going to make another attempt on the other one. Um, I'm not entirely happy with the way this has this has res the, the way this has made a connection basically absolutely not so I mean, don't get me wrong, the joints are absolutely solid. Uh, no, just uh, sometimes, sometimes you start making things perfect and you can make a complete, absolute complete mess out of it. Uh, and my instinct says I am going to leave it. It's fine. Look, you can't fault. It's solid. You know. I'm gonna bloody pull the thing. Look, I'm pulling the things. It's not coming out. Absolutely not. So, just don't want to cut them through. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. Okay, screws are in. Those are going to be the connectors. Turn off the extractor. Turn off the soldering station. I think we've done pretty well here. And that's that. That's been connected. So these two have been put back in its place. The uh, neutral and the uh, live has been connected. That's also been connected. Um, I am going to give that area a bit of clean. Um, just so that the flux doesn't remain on the PCB. Right, okay. 
Aha. We have display. Um, delay allowance. Okay, so this is all uh, rocket science for me. Yeah, equalizer on and off. Yeah. Right, I'm not going to mess about with this equipment. All right. That's the mute button. Right, uh, although I'm saying that, I'm not going to mess about. I'm actually fucking asking about with it, right? Okay. So, uh, all right. Okay. So the, the, the light does lit up right when you click me. I didn't see that before then. Um, okay. Superb. So, yep. Yeah, it's powered up. Okay, everything seems to be fine. Okay, excellent. I'm going to batter this out and flatten it for him. Also give it a clean, because it's got a, quite a bit of dust on it. Now, yeah, as I, that's exactly what I meant. It's just, there's a, quite a bit of work involved in taking that battery out, and I believe it's here. That's the battery. Now, just need to confirm the terminals on it basically because uh, yeah 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 that's a, that's a so what do I do guys what do I do what do you do you honestly suggest uh, take the battery out have a look and see if there's anything I can do for him that means I've got to put my long tip and see how these have become these these tips become so handy at time to time. Um, now, before I do that, let's just check the voltage on it and see if the voltage if I've got any volts on there. Oh, hang on, I don't need to change it. What the friggin' hell? What did I do that for? Woo! That's reading 3.1 volt. I'm not, I'm not friggin' touching it. Now then, the next stage is to put it back together. So what I'm going to do is obviously you've seen the amplifier working, so I'm not going to sort of uh, drag this video any longer than what it has been. So I'll stop it here. Um, that's all. Uh, the caps have been replaced. The amps powering up. Everything seems to be fine. So that's how you sort of repair the Yamaha. Um, what is it? The Yamaha Rev uh, 7. Um, make sure you do sort of get decent capacitors. The capacitors I've got, that these are Panasonic capacitors, apart from the one that's 68 microfarad, 400 volt. That was uh, Kemet, if I'm pronouncing it right, K-E-M-E-T. -E so I'm, I ho I'm hopeful that I'm pronouncing it correctly. If not, then so be it. It's one of those things. We live and learn, don't we? Um, so sadly, the, the Panasonic have actually stopped producing the 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 uh, capacitor that I wanted, um, but buying them from a major company, the, these I can't see that being a problem. That you know the, these are going to be fresh stock. 
and good stuff basically so there we are all right so let's uh, put this back together um, I'm not going to take it I'm not going to drag this any longer than it has been anyway guys take care stay well stay safe and uh, I'll catch up with you on the next video peace